Hey Scorpio, welcome to your WLC Weekly Love Connections reading. This will be for those of you who are wanting to get insights with regards to your love life. All right, to all my subscribers, thank you for stopping by. Info about my personal readings and everything else about this channel, uh, my social links are all in the description box below. Or you can visit my website, nomadsoulwarrior.com. Scorpio. Let's get on with your reading. What do we have for Scorpio in love? Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter in love. The Page of Swords. The Queen of Wands. <laughs> the Five of Swords. The Four of Wands, exactly the same placement as um, the Taurus reading. <laughs> Check that out. Um, I'm posting it today as well. Exactly the same placement for, for these two cards here. And I shuffle the cards, yeah? Three of Cups. Mm -hmm. The Eight of Cups. The Nine of Wands. The Page of Cups, <laughs> the Seven of Cups, the Page of Pentacles, the Fool, okay, I got this, the Four of um, uh, Swords. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Ace of Cups. Uh, I encourage you to watch the um, the Taurus reading as well that I'll be posting together with this because it's a similar vibe and you would know why, okay? So, but getting on with your reading. Um, Scorpio, for some of you, I feel there's this energy of forgiveness, of um, opening up to things that you probably wouldn't even thought of opening up to, hearing other people out, hearing other people's... Um, um, explanations, yeah, thoughts and feelings and understanding them, having compassion towards them. That's the general vibe I am getting for you. And I feel that you are also riding into this energy of holiday is coming. The holidays are coming, so um, things need to be beautiful. You know, the, the environment that you're in needs to be beautiful. You need to be... Um, connected with um, people that you want to be around with yeah for for the holidays so whatever type of holidays you are celebrating in any part of the year I mean in any part of the world but I do see you here um, possibly even um, renovating a place um, changing your your cookware, dinnerware, or something like that. There's some form of beautification of a, a place where, or an abode that you have, yeah? Um, that could generally give you this sense of beauty, yeah? And in turn, being able to be more compassionate, be more, uh, being able to give more positive vibes to other people. That's what I see here. Second message, very strongly for some of you, I feel that um, you could be meeting someone or you're starting off meeting a new person, getting together, getting to know somebody yeah, that you may know, that you may just have met, I mean. And um, you're kind of thinking right now whether are you ready to take this new journey with, with this new person? And I feel that you're taking your time, which is good, which is good, okay? Um, you're taking your time because it feels like you still have other stuff that you are currently involved in, like, you know, renovating your place, meeting other friends and all that. But there is uh, someone here that you are possibly starting to get to know, yeah? Somebody who is starting to be part of your life. Okay, for those of you who are currently in a connection that um, is still pretty strong in your head, in your mind, in your heart, I feel that um, you're seeking the truth here. 
from that person. You want to know the truth. You want to know what they think. You want to know what they feel. And you want to know what they're doing. Yeah, you want to know what they're doing. Honestly, you don't want to see the um, just the outward side of what they are showing you. Perhaps you see this person in social media and they look happy, but you really want to know what's inside. What's inside this person right now? How do they feel? You know, because you kind of don't believe the the you know the external um, showcasing of the events, the um, the the life of people, especially in social media, may not be exactly the representation of where they are at right now, and that is exactly what you're looking at. Yeah, that's that's exactly what you're looking for. Now, um, with regards to this person, um, Scorpio, honestly, this is someone who wants to get together with you. They want to be back with you. They have been going round and round, perhaps even on their own, not even talking to other people. And um, they kind of think twice right now, especially if they have rejected you or they have walked away in the past. This is someone who is kind of evaluating. <laughs> evaluating and at the same time getting into that conclusion that walking away was the wrong was wrong or wasn't the right thing to do yeah given the fact that um being with you makes this person more you give fire to this person's life so if this is a person who tends to be um in in a deep going down into this um depression route or or mode or something like that somebody who needs more motivation on a day-to-day -day basis for instance however that plays out you know in your case or in this person's life um, you give fire to this person you make them feel alive yeah and this person right now is thinking why the hell did I have to go to walk away from Scorpio when it was really you know possibly even one of the best connections that they ever had in life they're questioning their decision but at the same time i feel that um they're really thinking they're really thinking of how can they make it work with you how can they get back with you there's a lot of hows how and um is it possible what can they do yeah what can they offer what can they tell you to keep you looking at them you know what i mean to keep you looking at them and i feel that this person may have tried to reach out and talk and text and some so, sort of communicate or <laughs> possibly some emojis you know for some of you but um i feel that that's the initial phase of them trying to see what's the best way to get back with you. What's the best way to get back together? Or how can they get back into your good graces? In the immediate future, Scorpio, I am seeing that um, there's going to be uh, a lot of things that will open up for both of you. A lot of things that um, you can both work together. And there seems to be... Um, mixed feelings as well on your side whether you're not really sure is this person coming back here or being with you because they want to be um they want to cultivate this romantic connection or they just want to work with you you know so there's there's that mm -hmm. and because this person doesn't seem to be um, you know, they're the ones who walked away and coming back and being honest for some people, it's easy or honest and straightforward for some people. That's easy depending on their situation as well on their current, uh, um, surroundings, environment, stability, and all it's easy to tell you that, Hey, Scorpio, I want you back or something. But if the current environment situation, stability of this person is, is in a down low how can they tell you that they want you back if only the heart beats for that you know if there's no concrete stuff that they can really offer if they tell you they want you back that means you are expecting them to put in the effort but what if that effort is not readily available 
or they don't have that capacity right now so that that sort of thing i am getting but nevertheless in this connection i feel there is an opportunity that um to start something off here and mainly because this person that we're talking about scorpio is onto you you may not feel it right now energetically you can feel that this person is connected with you responding to you whenever you initiate but um, initiation on their part may be not so strong for now but it's getting there and i feel that i feel that in their mind they truly want to just risk it you know to just to open up and tell you scorpio i want to get back together regardless of the consequences because this person is in the process of really thinking through yeah what can they tell you what can they do to get you back they really want you back that's the element here and at the bottom of it all i think in the immediate future they will just give up uh give up on thinking and and really thinking on their own and and planning and all and um i feel that they will just jump in and tell you hey can we get back together because i love you yeah can we put all the negative vibes behind? Get the past is over, you know? Let's move on together. Yeah? Because they still want this. And they still want to work for it. Okay? So that's what I see here for you. It's... <laughs> But it's um it's um there's a lot of of messages for those of you. This would be for those of you who are currently in a connection, in you know, still thinking about a certain person. But the initial, the beginning phase of this reading is also for those of you who are getting uh, connected with a new connection. Okay, so let me know if this resonates in the comment section below. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe. And um, if this doesn't resonate, you can check out your other placements, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. And you can check out those readings in my channel as well. And by the way, check out the Taurus reading that I, I've done because it seems like there's some form of similarity in, in your energies that I have pulled out. So you can probably relate to that as well. Okay? Bye, Scorpio.